What's going on guys? So today I'm going to show you how to make a nav bar in Webflow. And we're going to do this specific kind of nav bar where we have these items in the very center and then one on the very right side and then the logo on the left side. And as you reshape this, uh, these items in the center stay exactly in the center and those ones on the outside remain right on the outside. Um, so I had a little bit of a a little bit of trouble doing this because when you go to the mobile menu, you know, these items will show in the mobile menu and you also want to include the contact link in the mobile menu as well. So putting these in their own container so that they're exactly in the center, but then also this on the outside and then having all the links show on the mobile, um, it tripped me up for a minute. So I just want to show you how to create this in case you are also having trouble with it. So this is a different project now. I just have a background uh, video, which I gave it a class of background video, and that's all we have on this project. So you can do Command K and then search for navbar, and you can also hit this plus sign, scroll to the bottom, and then advanced here, click navbar. So it'll just throw in a navbar, uh, type drop down, you can select overwrite. So on the mobile menu, it'll just kind of slide out from the right. Um, <clears throat> menu fills page height and then menu icon for tablet and lower. So that looks good. Um, we see a background here. Let's go ahead and make that transparent. So background color, move the transparency bar there all the way to the left, making that transparent. Uh, these nav links, we will make the text white. Typography, color, change that to white. And I'm going to rename this class just because I like the all lowercase. So nav link, and then we can click on these and apply that nav link class to these other links. Um, while we're at it, I'm going to go ahead and change to this Verdana, Verdana, I don't know how it's pronounced. Um, okay, so that was good. Let's add our logo in here. They give us this brand link, which you can link it to wherever you want to go. So typically go to the home page, of course. Um, so with that selected, I'll do Command K and then image, uh, choose image, and then I'm going to upload from my machine. And let's see, tech check logo transparent, and then select that. So that'll bring that in there. That looks good. And then if you want to resize this, you can give that a class of like, logo um, width of and you can just style it as you want there so I'll just bring this up some more that looks pretty good um, and then we will align this vertically in the center here in a second um, the container that it comes in um, I've had issues with the Webflow container, because you can add you can add a container, um, which one comes in the nav bar already. Um, but I've had issues with the container when it's in the nav bar specifically, like with Flexbox. So what I've read as a workaround is to just add your own container, which I like because I've also experienced a limit on how wide you can make uh, their container, the Webflow container. So. If you want to go a little more closer to the edge, you can use your own container as well. So to do that, we're going to Command-K and then just throw in a div. And we will give that a class of container. And then we will put all this stuff inside that. So put that up here. Put the brand. We'll put the nav menu it's trying to put it inside the brand get out of there uh, and the menu button 
So now that there's nothing in this Webflow container, we can delete that one. I'm going to close this. Okay, so it looks like the nav menu is not in there. I'm going to just pull that over. Now it's in, and the menu, move that over. Now it's all in the container. So we can give this our own padding of, say, 8% on the left and the right. And then we can, so we're a little closer to the edge there. If I preview this, kind of stays close to the edge, like in that. Um, this is still towards the top, so now that we have our own container, let's see, let's uh, do some flex box here, and then align center, I brought that down to the center. Um, we're gonna do a space between space between yeah I did it um, so we have these pushed to the right side this pushed to the left side but we want to get all these in the center with just the contact uh, link on the right so um, what we're actually gonna do is this nav menu we're gonna keep that as a container and that will show in the mobile menu as well um, and so I'm going to duplicate a couple of these. We will name this projects and then news. And then this contact, we are going to move outside of the nav. And it adds a bunch of margin for some reason. Which I'm not seeing the margin. Hold on. Click back on this, there we go. Oh, on the nav link, yeah. So we're also gonna put that border around it to make it look like a button. So we're about to style this. So I will add desktop to this because we're also going to hide this on mobile since it's outside of the nav. And then we'll add a link to these and give that a class of mobile and we'll hide it on desktop. And then this one we will hide on mobile. So I'm going to get rid of the margin. And so now that is pushed to the side as it should. These are in the nav menu. So that item is centered with this flex box space between and then the logo on the left side. Um, so again, we're on this one with desktop. Let's get some border on that. So under borders here, click that line, and we will make that white. So white border. Um, we want to give it a border radius as well. So I'm going to hold Option and then just move it over, and it, yeah, curve the edges there. Um, the height is a little out of whack right now, so. We can do a, a zero pixel height on the typography, the line height, and then we can just adjust the padding. So I'm going to hold option so that I'm affecting the top and bottom at the same time. And you can just kind of match your design as needed. I have another video where we animate a button. So it looks like this, and then when you hover over it, a, uh, there's like a little circle below that scales up the circle is white and it goes to it turns into like a white button with black text so we change the text color and the background of the button it's just a cool little animation um, but anyways so this contact button was good and that is on desktop so because you see now if we go to mobile this button is just still here so now on tablet and lower, we are going to do display none. And then, let's see, if we open the menu, we'll go to preview here. We want to see a contact button, and we'll also style this menu, because it's looking pretty scary. Um, so I'm going to hit 
Command D to duplicate that. I will call this one contact. And then this one, we're going to give it a class of mobile instead of desktop. And on the desktop breakpoint, we will say display none. So this desktop is looking good. Let's go to mobile. Um, select the nav menu, go to settings, and then show. So now we're seeing that. Uh, while we're at it, let's go ahead and click this nav link real quick. And we're going to go back to style and uh, display block. And so now we have all of our links here. Um, back to nav menu, um, styling still in the style uh, tab here. Let's go to backgrounds and make that just kind of a darker, not fully black, but we'll go to like a pretty clean black there. Um, let's see, width, we'll say 100%. Height, let's do 100 VH, viewport height. Um, actually, with the nav still, if I do text center, let's see if this does that. No, it doesn't. So we'll go to the nav link and we will center that text. Um, this whole thing is still a nav link technically. So let's just go ahead and make that like 30%. And then those are the links. And this whole nav menu, let's just give that some padding. Let's bring it down a bit. Um, and we are not seeing the, uh, the hamburger button when it's open. So let's see, let's go to this menu button. And then we will give that Z index of two. Now we're seeing that. We also see this background color. So let's make that transparent as well. And the icon is white, which is good. If you want to change the color of that, you can just change this text color. Um, looks like it's not set as white, but yeah, that's how you would change that. So we'll just manually set it to white um, and then let's see so I think we're good if we go to not sure why that's showing there on this desktop version let's go ahead and preview okay looking good and if we resize it very nice and so we have the contact and then not a contact link in here as you go down, we're not seeing that uh, misplaced contact button, but if you open up the menu, we see this nice, and we have the uh, contact button. So that looks good. Um, I'll make a follow-up video where we animate this so that when you open and close it, it'll like spin um, a couple times when you open and then when you close it. Um, so that'll be cool. So keep an eye out for that. Um, hope that was helpful. If it was, please like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more Webflow tutorials or support the channel. And thank you very much for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Check it, check it.